Hi guys and welcome to this video. I'm Rianne and today I decided that I needed to make an apron specifically because um, I'm in college and I'm in a painting class that um, can be a little messy and I like to wear my nice clothes just in a general sense. So I needed something to protect my clothes. So I measured the length that I needed from my waist down to how long I wanted it and cut out the right length, then rounded the bottom, pleated the top edge so that it would be a little closer to my waist measurements, and then I cut out a rectangle that would go about halfway around my waist and then trimmed it so it was more of a trapezoid. And then I used this little piece of lace edge trim and cut it to the right size, then used more of the fabric around the edges of that top stitched it to the bottom and put like a binding that would also act as the ties. And then I also cut squares or rectangles, not necessarily perfect in any way, and made sure that the edges wouldn't be raw when they're showing, pinned it in place and sewed them down. Once I had that, I decided that I wanted some colors, so I painted on a koi fish using fabric paint. And then I kind of wanted it to look like the koi fish had swam across it. So I dappled it with uh, the same colors um, in a sort of natural flowing motion. And then I had some old stencils that are actually meant for quilting. But I don't do any quilting and nobody in my family wanted them. So I decided to use them as stencils for paint. And put some different, like a fan and some butterflies and some hearts with vines and then finished out the dappling, and this is the finished product. It's super cute. The shorter pocket, I can just tuck something small in. The longer pocket, um, I can tuck my paintbrushes in or um, my palette knives if I need to. So very useful, and it'll help keep paint off of my clothes while I'm working in my art class. All in all, I think it came out super cute and super functional. Uh, not quite a dress, but definitely cute. Thank you so much for watching, and feel free to like and subscribe, or leave any comments or suggestions you may have, and we'll see you next time.